Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at the equation V equals U plus AT. So we've got V here, and V stands for the final velocity of our object, that's in meters per second. U here is the initial velocity, also in meters per second. A is for acceleration, which is in meters per second squared. And finally, T is for time, which it is in seconds. Okay, so let's apply our equation to some problems. A car can accelerate to a speed of 30 meters per second from rest in six seconds. What's the average acceleration? Well, from rest, that means the uh, initial velocity was zero. Uh, we've got T here, and we've also got uh, V. So V equals U plus AT. We're looking for acceleration, so we need to make acceleration the subject. Let's start by V minus U equals AT, then divide both sides by T. Uh, T's here cancel, and I'm left with A equals V minus U over T. So let's put some numbers in. So V is 30 minus 0, all divided by time, which is 6 seconds. So 30 divided by 6 is 5 meters per second squared. That's our final answer. Okay, next problem. A car starts from rest and moves forward with a constant acceleration of 2 meters per second squared for 10 seconds. What velocity does it reach at the end of this time? So V equals U plus AT. Okay, so V is what we're trying to find out. U started from rest, so this is going to be zero, plus the acceleration uh, was two times by uh, 10 seconds. So we end up with uh, 20 meters per second. So there we go, V is 20 meters per second. A car starts from rest and accelerates at three meters per second squared. How long does it take to reach a velocity of 30 meters per second? Okay, so we're looking for time this time, so V equals U plus AT. Okay, V minus U equals AT. V minus U divided by A equals T. So let's put some numbers in. So final velocity is 30 minus 0 because it started from rest and A is 3. So we've got 30 divided by 3, which is 10 seconds. So that's our final answer, T equals 10 seconds. A rocket is launched vertically, starting from rest, it accelerates at 30 meters per second squared for 5 seconds. What speed does it reach at the end of this time? So V equals U plus AT, starting from rest, so we know this is going to be 0 plus 30 times by 5. Okay, so let's have a look. 30 times by 5 is 150 meters per second. So that there is our final answer. A bicycle is moving with a speed of 10 meters per second. How long will it take to come to rest if the brakes cause it to slow down at a rate of 2 meters per second squared? Now this time we're decelerating. So this is actually going to be a negative value. So we've got V equals U plus AT. We've got to know time is what we're after. So V minus U divided by A equals T. Well, V is going to be 0 minus 10 divided by minus 2.5 so we've got minus 10 divided by minus 2.5 which is going to give us uh, an answer of 4 seconds that's our final answer don't forget to press on my dad's picture to subscribe him and say subscribe say it dad press here to subscribe Bye. Bye.